The difference between try catch and try find can be illustrated in a very simple example. Here we have a try block inside the check age method. We check the variable for the class person and if they're under the age of 18 we throw in a legal argument exception with the value of boom. And if we run this what we're going to see is a few things happen. We see the word finally is printed to the output and then we see the reason why the application exited which is the illegal argument exception which was thrown. So this is interesting because the print line was not executed which we expect because it was short circuited based upon the illegal argument exception it was thrown. Every time this code is called finally is guaranteed to be called so finally is going to be called and we print finally to the screen and of course because the application exited we are not going to see after the try here. Now, how does this differ from a catch? Well, a catch allows you to catch the exception and do something with it. Finally, just executes at all point in time. So let's just go ahead and replace this. We'll comment this out right now. And let's go ahead and actually, I'm gonna go down here and we'll comment this out. And now we'll say catch, ex exception. So catch allows us to catch the exception. And we can print line the exception message Actually, let's go ahead and we're going to print caught just to be more clear. And once we execute this, we'll see the word caught. And we are then after the try. And so what this allows us to do is this whole program has now executed, though, except for this line of code here, because it was short-circuited via the check age because of the illegal argument exception that was thrown. So with a catch, you can actually catch either a particular exception, or you can say if it's not a particular exception, you can, uh, or if it is a particular exception, uh, it can also not get short circuited and still blow up the application. However, anytime you're using a finally, which it also can, can be combined, a finally is executed all the time. So regardless, if we have an exception that is caught, we have finally, uh, this exception was not, was not caught, so it terminated the program, finally was printed. However, if this is an illegal argument exception, we're going to see that the program execution continues on. We didn't crash the application, however, finally was still called. So regardless of what happens inside of the try, finally is always called. While it's not guaranteed to always be called with the catch because we could be filtering it based upon the type of the exception.